hand clap to the master guys we finally back again for another one of the one and only mr Lix reaction guys big up all mr Lix youtube family man outer large actually made a mr Lix family yesterday i was doing an aerial shot guys and she was like are you the are you the one on youtube i was like <laughs> <laughs> Big up all the Mr. Nick's the family out and all over the place, man. She tends to she, she tends to watch all the videos, man. And I ask her which one she tends to watch. She watched the vlogs as well as the, the reaction channel. And of course, she's getting introduced to Ariel Dominic as well. So big up yourself one time. You know yourself as well. I just want to tell you, it was great meeting you. Uh, one of the other Mr. Lix YouTube family I've actually met here. But of course, the newcomers out there, big up yourself as well for definitely tuning into another reaction video. And of course, if you have not done so, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos. Click the bell when you subscribe and then click all so you'll be notified when I drop all my videos right there. And then I should have tell her, I, I should have asked her if she, she downloaded the, the Mr. Lix Tube app, man. If you have not done so, definitely do that as well, guys. Download the Mr. Lick's tube app in the first comment in the comment box below. No, guys, there was something actually stated, and I actually made a mistake about it. And this individual pretty much corrected me. A number of um, persons messaged me stating that um, the, the, the bike riders, uh, 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 they are both from, from Dominica, I actually made a mistake. Uh, it was the swimmer who is actually from uh, what uh, Switzerland, not uh, Dominica, right there. His, par his parents or parents are from uh, Dominica, and uh, but he's uh um is representing dominica right there there's another big stone waiting to fall just past lubia they're waiting for something to happen first put the information out there guys i have to put this information out there as well there's another area where uh the possibility of stone falling in the lubia region please do something about it man i mean come on we're waiting for something to actually happen before we do something really <sighs> we need to do better than that guys what do you think I think we need to do better than that. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But um, yeah, so this person put out this information right there to let the masses know that there's a, a rock in the, in that area. So I'm definitely putting out that information. A big stone waiting to fall down, man. Come on, man. After all. Anyways, guys, there was another set of information I received right there. And um, I just want to say the person who wrote this, um, please contact me. Uh, one of my business partners wants to assist you. In this regard right there but i told them i have to give you some blows in this man because what i see in there is interesting anyways this person is saying hi what's up i must say that life we live in 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 that country is just crazy you know what i mean but she didn't see you know what i mean but you understand i working on the nep there for some time now as an assistant at a primary school eh? i'm very grateful with the opportunity that's interesting primary school spelling okay anyways um with the uh, grateful for the opportunity right there i just registered at college to do primary education which of course is a good thing i love kids and i really want to become a qualified teacher and not be identified as an nep worker all the time right there I, like i said a bit to you guys some time about that there are nep workers in different fields and they did this for them to help curb the unemployment rate the rising unemployment rate so keep this in man right there she doesn't want to be known as an nep worker all the time imagine it's summertime summer is two months and we don't receive any cash to get us through these two months huh we have to be living like ha my they say man shall not live by bread alone but uh, as if you can afford the bread eh? that is that, that is another thing right there anyways i have to pay loan i have to i have rent to pay i have two kids to take care of where's the where's the where the father of the of these two kids where, where 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 are they where, 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 i don't know if it's they or fathers or father where is where's the father or fathers of these two kids why why are the, why aren't the fathers bearing responsibility after i make mention of that as well when you end up being with certain people you're not supposed to be and you end up with too much responsibility yourself is a happy burden man big up to all the mothers out there who are single not it's not a good thing to be a single mother at all if that is the case uh, uh, right there of course i'm not sure if she's married or she's not married but she's a seeking some sort of assistance she says she has two kids to take care of two not one but two dos dos amigo senorita anyways she also has a, my my i have to pay my courts my lady certain things well i need sometimes you might need certain things you might have to go and take you without the money so you take it on higher purchase or whatever but if you if you do have my father grows up with that principle if you do have stay without until you can afford to get it you know what i mean because by the time you end up paying paying for whatever you took by courts 
it's gonna be appreciated. The, the amount of money you're gonna spend is gonna appreciate, whereas the, the actual um, um, furniture or whatever equipment you take is depreciating in value. So you end up spending way more than the actual value of the product. That's why that's called higher purchase, brothers and sisters. It's higher than the purchase itself. So I might cut to pay. School is about to open. I have school things to buy for my two kids. Yes, uh, where if where if father or fathers? Where, what, what? Anyways, I understand we are working on contract. Yes, we understand that as well. And as they say, what we receive is a stipend, not a salary. It's a stipend, so you're not supposed to take no type of um, tax on that. Anyways, hopefully you're not know, taking no tax on your stuff right there. But um, yeah, it's a stipend, not a salary. But at least for those two months, don't you think we should be given at least half the money? For what reason? I mean, you under contracted. This is what you signed up for. I, I'm not saying whether it's blue or red or whatnot, but the, if the people are talking and saying certain things are happening, uh, is happening to them, then <laughs> they are equally as guilty for this. And I understand the sentiment. You live in a place that is not always conducive to the best of your ability, but if you refuse to say anything, but then again, if you talk, you might feel like you're going to be victimized and they might pull it from you, so you have to stay quiet. Shh. And then we live in, in a circle. We're going over and over constantly. These people don't have to pay you things. If you're not working, what are they paying you for? You're under contract. So I guess you have to figure out some other way for you to figure things out or try your best to help the, to see how you can make the economy come, become better, even if it's changing the leaders right there. Anyways, she's saying we receive nine fifty four monthly, but at least for summer, they could give us, that's not half, no sister, 500 of a thousand is half. You see me? 954 is that, that not but i get the point right there at least block a hole this is crazy day to day i wonder how i how can i explain this to my landlord yourself you have your rent to pay landlord said do, you do you can't pay what <laughs> you you they put in your side you have to live under a tree or by your family members whoever but uh, you get the point how long can i tell flow to keep my internet on hold yes sir well tell flow cut the internet no, sister cut it Cut it, sister. If it's a five dollars top up, you can take to stay on WhatsApp. Cut it. Cut the internet, man. Cause you you in a struggle there, and I seen the struggle right there. Anyways, my to to stop my internet from from confronting in. Um, when will I stop docking court calls? So you docking courts, but look things. This is just sad on so many levels, and we the interns at school should be considered. In terms of being considered, yes, but consideration must be made on what? A striving economy. Anyways, with all that study right there, the individual who studied this to me, sent this to me and state, said that um, you contact me. Of course, I'll have to verify it is you. <laughs> contact me on my social. My links will be in the descriptions below. Um, so you can definitely check it out. If, you, you, if anybody know who the pers this person is, tell him to contact me. And of course... I will liaison with you with one of the individuals who might be able to assist you. But of course, they have to get certain information from you as well. So contact me, please. I did this one first right there so that the individual in this regard can think. But I understand your sentiment. Yes, the burden is there. But what is causing the burden needs to be addressed. Or if it don't, it's not addressed, then nothing's going to happen. You're going to constantly live in a loop. Anyways, this person is steady to me. Well, this forwarded to me right there. I think it's yesterday. Uh, stating, I just got a message, news, that they have served Mr. Linton with a sermon to appear before the court tomorrow, which was yesterday, but, but, they are planning on arresting him right there. I self, my blood, my blood pressure even start turning into, well, not the care, the press, <laughs> I self, my blood, I <laughs> put something sometimes, I self, I myself, my blood even start turning into kerosene. Yes, sir. Well, Papa, well, if that is the case, that is something else. We, you need to go to the well, hospital. Can't save but anyways, you get the point. Right. I think people should be by the court tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what happened yesterday. But of course, this was the sermon right there. And the sermon is pretty much dealing with that of what took place in February 7th, uh, 2017 in Rosu. And they summoned that right there. Lennox put this out. Uh, why is it tumul tumul what a tumultuous tumultuous oh, oh sorry unlawful insight to cause a tumul tumulus tumultuous uh, disturbance of the peace in Rosu. 
on that day, 7 February 20, 2017. It's five, five days, five years ago. All you, all you, they're just doing stupid in the same place. Following a meeting organized by opposition parties on Upper Kennedy Avenue, Rosso, I'm calling for the resignation of Prime Minister Roosevelt. He needs to resign. Because it's clear he's incompetent. I mean, <laughs> that is a good thing right there that they try that that that, that Lennox them are doing. Because he's incompetent. Look, somebody just go out and complain. Complain about the same NEP that they set up to make people believe. And man making EC dollars, 954, divided by 2.67. That should be about 300 and 30 something dollars no 380 free something 380 something US dollars <sighs> anyways this is what Linton had to say right there I have been summoned at, uh, to court yesterday August 8th 2022 at 1 p.m. as a law abiding citizen I have to be there God willing there's a story making the wrongs that the police have plans to arrest me. I do not know why. Because, of course, I live in a country where a minister of government has openly asked the, peop the police to pick me up and make me disappear. Because as far as he and his cabinet colleagues are concerned, I am a problem and a headache. I remember Reginald saying something like this right there. I'm at my home in obedience to the rule of law in every aspect, in every respect right there. It's rather unfortunate that this is the same sentiment going around where they have to constantly be doing things. Why are they wasting time? The reason why they tend to do this, guys, I'm breaking it down for you guys. They're trying to frustrate Lennox Linton. So they're constantly bringing him for bogus charges. He walk on the road. They send him a sermon. They send a number of them sermons to come and appear court. Nothing happened as a result of that. We don't know. Well, I don't know what happened as a result of that, but they're still out there walking and stuff. And you're asking yourself, what is going on? The people are literally, and this is one of the reasons why I don't understand this kind of situation right there, you know. This is one of the reasons why I don't understand the situations. People like Lennox Linton, them are standing in the gap to prevent man from total an annihilation, total autocracy of them and the, the government, them do like that. So they're constantly sending him stuff, stupidly stuff, to try to frustrate him. But let us pray for Lennox men so that he's maintaining. And, and you might, some people might not agree with Lennox Linton on the things that he might be saying, or, or, or you might just don't like him because you feel he ugly. I, I, <laughs> man voting for man because of dimples, boy. It's not too back and slap you need. Huh? Not too big back and slap you need. But, anyways, that is not my call right there. But you might not, not agree, or you might not side with Lennox Linton. But based on all these things that is going on in the country, we need to give high respect to that man. Because if it wasn't for Lennox, we would know a number of things. Some of us don't even care to find out what is going on. And if it wasn't for Lennox Linton, none of the information would be there. And it's rather sad that the information is being given to the people, saying how they're misappropriating funds and all kind of things. How much billions of dollars is missing that could come back to actually help help the people? We I don't I don't I don't understand this thing there. to help the people. And man fighting against the very man that's fighting for them. <laughs> no, boy. That is crazy. But then again, it reminds me of Jesus, man. Reminds me of Jesus, no doubt about it. Jesus came to literally set man free. And the same people that took his life, man. That's crazy. Right there. Anyways, guys, let us pray for Lennox Linton. Hopefully everything comes uh, a tuition to his... Uh, um, 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 positive outlook or positive outcome for him and um yeah but anyways guys there's something going around that was sent to me right there i have to make sure i post it up to you guys as well um is this guy speaking about certain things the richest uh the poorest let, let's listen four saint kitts and nevis make four saint kitts and nevis making fifty thousand eight hundred us dollars a year no I think these are the poorest prime ministers in the Caribbean. Let's let's. Number four, Saint Kitts and Nevis, making fifty thousand eight hundred US dollars a year. That's about one hundred and twenty thousand. That's a six-figure earner, no doubt about it. That's a good thing, right? Number there. three. Well, that's that's not the. Eight hundred US dollars, Saint Kitts and Nevis. I think that was a previous guy. I don't think that 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 the the, the new guy, Saint Kitts and Nevis, changed the prime minister. You know, to that Terence fella. So. Or Saint Kitts and Nevis making fifty. But you get the general scoop right there. Fifty thousand eight hundred US dollars a year. Number three. That means the present one will most likely be making that as well. Three Saint Lucia with fifty 
thousand six hundred US dollars. That's another hundred and twenty k. That's a year. Number two, Grenada. Maybe Pick up Grenada. Not Grenada that they know about. Not um, Keith Mitchell that they know about. You know, you get the point. Twenty nine thousand eight hundred US dollars a year. That's about close to eighty thousand. Close to eighty thousand, seventy nine, seventy nine thousand around there. And number one. The Caribbean island with the lowest paid prime minister. That's gonna be shocking to you guys, eh? It shocked me. It shocked me, guys. Just check this out. Dominica making twenty one thousand six hundred US dollars a year. Twenty one thousand six hundred US dollars a year. Do you guys really believe that? I mean, come on. If you search for the prime minister, this is what you're going the richest prime minister. Richest prime minister in the Caribbean. Losers carry it. I mean, you just type it in and that's what you're seeing. But the lowest though. So if that is his salary, then how is he able to do these things right there? This is his house in Vegas. Or was his house? Maybe, I don't know. He doesn't go there, it seems. <laughs> He's always in Mount Daniel. Talk about Mount Daniel, guys. Boom! This house was built on map Miss, 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 Mrs. Popon's carrot. Father's land, which most likely was transferred to her. And they say he renting the house that on their, on their family land. <laughs> that's interesting right there. That's one mansion. That's two mansions. Two mansions. This one is bigger than this one. And then there's this one as well, guys. This one is a new one. Don't forget, this one is being paid $64,000 a month to maintain this right, right, right there. Which is interesting if that is the case where the Prime Minister is being paid to rent himself his own house. <laughs> That's crazy. But of course, people not talking so way. But he building another one not too far. This is the other one. That's the one we just saw there. This is the one you saw there. A location where the third building is being built. So this is right there in that area. And for those of you who don't know what it is, this is the building right there. Most likely it's not like this now. It is much better and looks much bigger than this one right there. The, the expansion of, of it is looks it looks much bigger than this one. So it might have two pools, 20 bedrooms and so forth. Who knows? Upstairs and downstairs, kitchen cellar. It's looking like it's a, it's a, a hotel that come in there because that looks like a section. That is a section. That is a section. That, 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 that. Upstairs and downstairs, kitchen cellar, everything. And don't forget the basement game room. I don't know if that's there, but yes, guys. The leader on third house in 16 years, while almost five years after Hurricane Maria, citizens still intense, dead conscience. We talk about dead conscience. Look, she complaining about the same NEP. The same NEP, Marquesa. Same NEP. But, 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 but building, building, boy. Yes, hi. Building, building. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the, the total right there. He says 21,600. I did some calculations on this right there, guys. I actually searched for it. What is the salary of Prime Minister Dominica? 21,666 US annually. It's just rather interesting. I don't... Uh, considering that being the case, guys, didn't the Prime Minister them increase their salaries like about three times? The government salaries increase about three times and one of them is about 50% increase. So if you was getting $1,000, you get $1,500. If you was making four thousand dollars, you now get six thousand dollars. In the calculation of these guys, twenty six six twenty six hundred divided by twelve. So you, that's how much he makes one thousand eight hundred and five point five zero U.S. dollars. That's what the prime minister makes. If you don't know what are these guys converting it right there, four thousand eight hundred and thirty eight dollars and seventy four cents EC dollars. That making sense to you? That make it the prime minister making four thousand eight hundred and eighty thirty eight dollars and seventy four cents. In Dominica, who believe that? Who believe that, brothers and sisters? After increasing your salaries about three times, one being a half by half, and they giving them people, them, them, them locals. Sister complaining, sister, you, ay, ay, ay. sister, you complaining about being NEP and saying stipend. What about the people receiving salaries and they still cannot make it much less for you? No wonder the partner sent this to me to tell the, to to ask you. To reach out to me and then I'll, I'll link up, link, link you up and whatnot. But that's crazy right there. So you complain about the NEP, the stipend you're getting. People complain about the salary, the prime minister, the government, them, 
the unions um they made a, a sort of um, um increase in salary that was 10 to 20 dollars from my understanding 10 to 20 dollars per year so if at the end of the year you're making twelve thousand dollars you get twelve thousand ten dollars <laughs> or you get twelve thousand twenty dollars and then they give you an additional salary which means it's thirteen thirteen hundred that you would make for the year they give an additional salary so 1300 ten dollars or 1300 twenty dollars right there let that sink in your heart let that sink in your heart man yes lord yes hi but guess what new building building though new building building people complaining yet still they're trying to bring the one man <laughs> the one man that lead well is not the group they're literally saying things that are happening in the country are on the basis of them saying that he's a problem to them. He's a headache. I remember Reggie saying that. Mr. is a headache boy. I remember. So we've seen all this taking place. I mean, wondering, guys, something we need to at least take a step in the right direction. I was actually talking to a, 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 a peep yesterday. But that same thing, and she's talking about home. She's talking about home. She always looked back to home. But the big question I want to ask you guys, if home isn't treating you like a family should, and you are outside being treated better than in your own home, should you still um, give homage to home? There's a lot of people I know who left Dominica and went to the United States and went to a number of places, and they were treated better, they got a better opportunities. Much better, my goodness, great people of the sea boy. When home isn't treating you like how home should treat you, you're still balling, oh, this is my home and things. Sometimes you have to make a new home. Eh? Not saying that people should abandon Dominica. Dominica is a nice, wonderful place. Go and relax and jump in pool and drink nice water. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God, talking about water, boy. Oh, boy, we have one bottle of water from Dominica, boy. Or the Caribbean Kai Islands, even Antigua have multiple types of water. Trinidad, we have Trinidad water in, in Dominica. <laughs> Boy, land that flows the 365 rivers. And you think that the people in charge don't know this? One bottle of water, we had two, we had Lubia and we had Tuapito. Where Lubia gonna, man had Lubia post up like it's gold, we boy. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> They had a picture of a Lubia board and people they're talking about that boy. So you're not seeing what, what happening. Mm. Or you're really not seeing what happening, boy. Guys, it's time for us to wake up, man. And, 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 and Lennox, big up to Lennox right there, man. Big up to Lennox. I don't believe this salary at all. That probably is something that they put out there. But them kind of houses I see. You think that salary can, per year? For 10 years, 26, 21, 600. For 10 years, it's 42, 43, 12, 40, 43, 200 dollars. For 40. For, <sighs> no. 10 years, 210. <laughs> I don't know what I. 216,000. 10. You have to put the extra zero. Okay, I double, I double. But, um,. Yeah, guys, um, 10, 20, that's about 400 and something. That's about a million EC dollars for 20 years. A million EC dollars for 20 years. And you mean to tell me if you're sorry that you build it, that, well, this is, is this somebody that built it for you. That is what you see. Even though the land was undervalued, actually showed, showed this in one of the clips. Well, the, the girl who was speaking about it. I know this. I mean, come on, people. Guys, what are your thoughts on this whole situation right there? I just had to put this out there, man, because it's really it's really something else, man. And it seems like we forget, we tend to forget where we came from. Lawyers, doctors, soldiers, teachers, and even judges have come from these homes right there. Good morning. I was raised in Picard. I never come out of a home like that, but I used to stay in one like this with my grand my grand um my grandmother. And she she had the best breakfast ever. Ah! And that macaroni oh Lord. I miss my grandmother, we boy. Yes, sir. But that's life, man. Life has its ups and downs, its ins and outs. But it's time for us to wake up, man. Open your eyes 
I wake up guys give this video a thumbs up if you understand it if you want to see more definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there i'll see you guys in the next reaction video Boom, bang.